Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And welcome back to the Dishwasher Vampire Smile. Last time we killed the Creeper. We killed the Creeper. <laughs> he was creeping on us. He was, he was wandering up behind us. <laughs> <laughs> he was blowing up all of our hard work and we had to stop that. He was trying to tickle our underbellies. Oh, we can go left, dude. We can go left. We can also go, whoa. Left. Whoa. Left. Let's go left. <laughs> What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This is what the creeper was creeping about. <laughs> this is this is what he was creeping on. Yes. <laughs> I love making you switch sides. Oh I... hey! Oh hey! Oh you know hey! What I didn't realize I had all this stuff to buy. Oh. Are you well. gonna buy some health? I'm gonna buy some health. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Buy some magic. What else? 224, huh? Um, I like the meat cleavers. I'm gonna upgrade those as well. Yeah, the meat cleavers and the uh, your katana there, katana, um, are probably my two favorite weapons of the dishwasher. I I usually like playing as Yuki though. I think this room's pretty empty. What is going on here? So so who is this person? I have no idea. The, uh, I think... With all the, that's that is the beginning to an that is the beginning to a uh, creepy goth anime porn. Yes, unfortunately. This uh this whole this whole game lends itself to that. Oh, <laughs> uh, you had to say that. You ruined this game forever <laughs> for me. <laughs> Ugh. These meat cleavers. <laughs> All right, viewers. Pro tip: meat cleavers. <laughs> meat cleavers. <laughs> do it. I don't care what you have to say on the matter. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm. I'm sure. Like, I can't wait to watch this video because I'm not even. I'm. I'm not even listening to it. Like, I can't hear anything. But uh -huh. I'm sure the sounds are super satisfying. Oh, they are so satisfying. Ooh, you got a shotgun. You got a shoddy upgrade. I did. It means I can do this. Wow. So, um, uh, two shotgun, just when you're firing with right trigger, hit Y. Woo! I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Shotgun's fun every once in a while, but, uh, I don't really use the guns much in this game. Yeah. Because meat cleavers. <laughs> because why do that when you get meat cleaver? It's just so much more fun when it's all, you're all up in their face. I want to know oh, why I don't use guns. <laughs> this is this is one of those things. This is one of those like IPs that needs to become like the dishwasher vampire smile. The the game, the dishwasher vampire smile, the anime, the dishwasher vampire smile, the anime, the cartoon. Oh hey dude, look it's your favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> X A. Yeah, I should clarify. My well? audio is yes, I am doing things. Okay. My audio is out of sync with the video, so this is also kind of weird for me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what this sounds like. The solos are pretty cool. I like them. I I did buy both soundtracks. We're like super quiet because neither of us <laughs> wants to break our conversation. Yeah, no, it's... I don't know if you've ever tried to have a conversation while playing a rhythm game. It's hard. It's not easy. <laughs> it's it really not. Um, yeah, I, I must confess, I, I do love me some Guitar Hero, so I really... I like these sections. But from a purely objective game design standpoint, I can understand where you would have problems with this. And I would say that, generally speaking, having types of gameplay that are just so far afield of what you've taught the player already is not exactly a great idea. Yeah. No, I, I feel like this is a pretty harmless um, exception to that because, like, really, it just gets you a bunch of money. You can get all that money, by the way. Thanks, I did. 
Yeah, Did so, you? like, I mean, so now that I know what was going on, like, I got 100 on this one. Yeah. Uh, now that I'm aware, it's not that bad. Like, uh -huh. it's not hard. Well, it, it is kind of tough. But it's not like... <laughs> Especially if you can't hear it. It's not Guitar Hero hard. There's no difference in rhythm. It's all eighth notes or whatever it is. Yeah, well, it um, does It does get harder on the harder difficulties. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, but the, the, the solos are pretty straightforward in that they, they don't... They're not, like, Jordan, you know? It's not gonna go super crazy on you. Yeah. I mean, like, and I guess that's cool, I guess. I don't know. It's just, like, again, I'm playing... I'm playing a slasher right now. Uh -huh. it, it's pure button mashing fun like yeah i'm i'm want i want this fast paced action i want like more of this I, I ironically like i feel that there's not enough fights like if, <laughs> this game for me is trying to be a couple different things it's trying to be a guitar hero it's trying to be a metroidvania and then it is a slap like a button masher yeah um like, it feels like a button masher it plays like a button masher but it's got like these other elements where it's just kind of gracing um, the other genres, and I feel like, I feel like they should have less guitar and more explore. I uh -huh. feel like it, my, my argument is kind of going both directions in this one. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, so, the, I, the Devil May Cry games, also, there, there's platforming, there's, there's some puzzle solving. It's, it's somewhat Metroidvania-esque. Yeah, it's very but, much this. Um, I feel like their uh, platforming and, and puzzle sections are more well done than this. Mm -hmm. um, I think the when you take the challenge out of traversing the level, there's not really much point in spending a whole lot of time getting from fight to fight. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just like use the right stick to keep on going. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah, but exactly. I, when you can when you can bounce around the level like we can, make it more actiony. When you can, uh, uh, top right. Hey, Drew. Yeah. Come this way. You need to stop being able to door glitch. <laughs> 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 oh, dang it! Not top right. Okay. Right, so I guess we go down. Let's actually follow these arrows. Like. There, yeah, because, like, there's no point for this room here unless, like, I don't know. So or this I, room here. Yeah, like, I will I will say that I what? like the fact that this game has a lot of, like, hidden dealies. Yeah. But unless I'm really bad at finding, I've gotten really bad at finding them, there are there are an awful lot of rooms where it's just, like, there's not really a whole lot of point. Yeah, like, it. I, I want to fight in that room. Yeah. Now this this is good. This is yeah. solid fun. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, when they're when they're bad guys, like this game is awesome. Like I, I, yeah, I definitely like have a positive view on this game. Uh huh. Just just to set the record straight on that one, this is yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a I'm having a ton of fun here. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, 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 it's it's great fun, but like I want uh I want more fun. Uh huh. I'm, I'm not content with the level with the amount of fun I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> I I would say I'm I'm pretty content, but yeah, I, there are definitely there's more that could have been done, and I think the big thing is because the combat is so gratifying and so fun, it really gives you um, a pretty hard juxtaposition. It makes the areas where it fails seem like they fail a little bit harsher, yeah. because you Jesus. you come down from such a, a high that it, it makes it feel almost like it's worse than it actually is. Yeah, yeah. And I, I do have to say, okay, um, I do have to say, the first couple vids, like, watch, watch, like, my combat in these next couple videos. I feel like I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, it is... A, a lot. You're, you're right. It is a lot easier to look now that I'm. I've got a handle on the game. Mm -hmm. um, so like, if you're if you're just like, if you're watching these videos just to uh, see what this game is all about, I definitely recommend you pick it up and then get through the first couple levels before you make a judgment call on it. Because like episode one and two of this game, I was ready to be like, I, I don't want to play this anymore. This is this is too hard on my eyes. <laughs> but now now that I've gotten uh, now that I've gotten into it, like 
a little bit more, and I've got a handle on what the combat is like. Mm. It's it's not as bad as it, as I made it out to be before. Yeah, I, don't know if that makes any sense. I think there there is a bit of a I don't want to say a learn maybe a learning curve. Oh yeah, I, I would absolutely say there is a learning curve. But I feel like that's something you can expect from just about any um, not brawler, but like uh, action. Yeah. Twitch. I don't know. I don't really know the the quite the way to describe this, but Devil May Cry esque thing. Whoa. Oh boy, these samurai dudes. Um, but I Devil May Cry suffers from the same kind of thing where. In, in the beginning, you can just, like, mash the X button, and you, you're pretty much good. Mm -hmm. And it's not, like, the most super exciting thing. And it takes a while for it to get to the point where it's challenging enough that you have to use all of the, the tools at your disposal in order to actually succeed. And then it becomes challenging and, you know, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, I, I wish... Is there like... not money in front of you? There is not. Huh. You just picked up money on my screen. That's weird. Uh, um, I mean, th my thing is, like, I wish Devil May Cry, at least the first one, mm -hmm. sort of eased you into it a lot more. Yeah. Like, at first it was just one or two guys. I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Maybe it's... Huh. But, uh, like, <laughs> the first, uh, the first couple levels when, I, when we were playing this it was just kind of spastic for me. Yeah, um, I feel like, so... Uh, maybe this is a, a failing on my on my part, having you start off with the co-op. But really, if you're gonna play the game, you should probably start with the single player. Um, they they start with they tutorialize the game a lot better, and oh. the the difficulty curve is much much better. Um, yeah. It's really multiplayer feels like something that you do once you've beaten the single player and you want to just like have fun with a buddy. Like if you want, if you want the re the the I don't want to say the true like dishwasher experience, experience, but like the 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 design was very much feels very much geared toward the single player. Um, yeah, I would I would agree with that. I, I've got a I've got a lot of that feeling here where it feels like it's mostly like I don't want to say the the multiplayer seems shoehorned in. But at the same time, the, the multiplayer seems shoehorned in. So, I, I wouldn't say it feels shoehorned, but I will say that um, it feels like they spent less time on the design for the multiplayer than the yeah. single player. Um, yeah. Again, what, what I was saying with the story, um, there are, in single player, there are cutscenes. <laughs> Murderfly. Yeah, no, I love Murderfly. <laughs> um, there are cutscenes after every fight. No, not every fight, um, every level. So you get a bit more story. Um, it's it's much less of a uh, just keep going kind of thing. Um, like there's uh, tutorial levels for both the dishwasher and Yuki that you don't get in multiplayer. Um, so it's very much uh, very more thought out in, in the single player. Mm. Ooh, this hurts. Okay. <laughs> healy magic um, some healy magic. And some more healy magic. Oh man, there was just like so much going on in that <laughs> just a second ago. Yeah, um, I don't know if you've managed to do pull it off yet, but if you do like a, a dodge the last possible second, the game kind of slows down a bit and gives you like a slow-mo action thingy. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Ah. Get over here. I want to chase all your face. Whoop! <laughs> I don't like it when they fight me. I wish I had to. Uh, nothing happens if you hold left trigger and hit A. No. The jump. Ah, that's probably like the last one you get then. Ooh! I'm that was close. Let you, uh... Go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you handle <laughs> that guy. Okay. Oh, uh, well, well, I'd be dead. Ooh. He's got like no health left. There we go. Health? You have to do the uh, 
You need to get a finisher on him. Get up! Oh. Get the money! Get the money! Okay. Go to the... There you go. I can't wait to see everything that I'm gonna buy in the next level. <laughs> yeah, you should have a pretty decent amount of money now. 366? What? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> uh, 1823 over here. Oh, not wait. done yet. <laughs> there's gonna be another. There's gonna be another dude. That is gonna be another dude. I think there's three targets. Um, you can tell on the level select screen when there's a, a combat knife stuck in the ground that there's mm. gonna be a uh, a target there. Is he gonna shoot himself? The general Count Fernand Di Diaboli. Diaboli. I don't know. Get it? Cause it's Diaboli. Bam! He's gonna try and shoot us, but he's gonna be a pushover. Slice <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, he fights back, but he sucks. Because he's just a dude. He's not a crazy robot android cyborg thing. This game. <laughs> Alright. So that's gonna be uh that's gonna round up this episode here for us. Catch you guys next time. Later.